streaming platform that you just launched or whatever. Do you feel that the streaming, the streaming, the video streaming aspect is that is that the new frontier? Uh, it's been the frontier. The problem is we getting robbed. So again, you do a podcast and you probably put it on YouTube. Yep. And you get paid by CPMs. And what happens is you're not collecting the CPM. YouTube is. So you don't know how much they're collecting. They might exactly. be getting $30 for your CPM and giving you $3. And you're not getting no accounting. Yep. That's and you don't get the benefit of the data. The you don't get to see the numbers. You don't. And there's no one you could ask but an email. And if you're big enough, maybe Tuma will give you a call. But that's it. I had to go and get the, my ad tech, get our own ad tech. Build it so we get the full CPM and the data, and we can give the artist the full CPM, or at least split it. We split it sixty forty. Yeah, you know, so sixty sixty you know to the make. artist, for and you get to see a dashboard of exactly how much you make. That's dope. So we we don't own no television networks. Bounce isn't owned by nobody black. Revolt wasn't never, and still to this day ain't owned by nobody black. At all. Well, it was before 20%. Now it's zero. It's all white people. Wow. The whole thing. Aspire's not owned by nobody black. BET's not owned by nobody black. Wait a minute. BET's not owned by anybody black? No. Wow. So the now that's a shame. Black entertainment television is not owned by black people. Nasty. Shout out to everybody pulling up. Yeah. Let's hit them like buttons, though. Come on. We got 300 people in here. Let's hit them like buttons. It's popping this morning. Let's get to it. So, Dame Dash, he's talking that smoke, man. As always, man. As always. We got to continue to listen to him this morning because he's he's popping this morning. So, we have to own, I mean, like TV One is, you know, but they're a little older. But... America knew it was a place where we could showcase the visuals that we need to see. Not us getting abused, not us only abusing each other, but the movie I made, The Prince of Detroit, is about healthcare. Yeah. About how to make money doing something other than being in entertainment, other than being in distraction. They don't show visuals of that. They don't fund movies made like that. Right. So the only way for that to happen is for us to not only have our own education, have our own network, make our own music. Shout out to Harlem. Shout out to Harlem. That's a big fact. Call them in the building. We stop complaining. It's to start doing shit. So America knew as me saying the networks, I got my own. Just like when I was putting out Jay-Z first, yeah. the record company, I put out my own. Facts. When I'm wearing other people's clothing lines, fuck that. I put out my own. That's that's what I've been telling y'all the whole time in these, in these lobbies. We got to get focused, and we got to own our shit, man. That's bottom line. Yeah. You heard what he just said about even YouTube. You know, no no shade to YouTube, because, you know, those people can get you up off here fast. But, you know, you heard what he said. You make, make 30, they give you $3. You know what I'm saying? So, even me being on here, I'm working for somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, the whole ideal goal is, you know, all these YouTubers and all of these people, you know, they make money off these platforms and they go, they buy Bentleys, they get all the jewelry, they get all of the stuff that's not necessary. They might need to start making platforms that can enable people to make more money on. Yeah. All these YouTubers might need to get together and make a new platform. But they don't think like that. They don't think like that. You know what I mean? They give you just enough so you can go get the Bentley. All things Judy. Yeah. I learned that about BT from the Boondocks. <laughs> Facts. How did y'all know about that BT bin change? Shout out to all things Judy. Annoyed horse. Black people are so obsessed with race. It's kind of extremely sad. That's a fact. What up, Spitfire? That's a fact, my boy. Just get everybody shout outs early in the morning. Eric was goody. Yeah. Boston, we rocking. We one game away. And we got that ring. That's a fact. Yeah. yeah, shout out to my man, too, John Sebastian. Got the coat on today. And shout out to Mitchell and Ness. 
My man that works there sent me the shorts. I told him I was showing them when I wear them. You know what I mean? These is crack. These is crack. Shout out to Mitchell and Ness. I, I need the jersey, though. How y'all gonna send me the shorts with no jersey? Yeah. That's a fact. I put that on the gram, too. I forgot to tag them yesterday because it came in the mail yesterday. I was just thirsty to put them on this morning. Facts. Yeah. Oh. Nah, man. No zesties around me, man. No zesties around me, man. Yeah. Oh, Chino, yeah, man. They send that drip in finally, man. I told you I don't buy clothes, man. They got to send that in. They got to. Yeah. I'm on seven days a week. I need them freebies. I just told y'all. I just explained to y'all. I'm trying to see all the money donated into the platform, to the merch, everything. It's good going to building a better system for us blacks to own stuff. Yeah. I don't care about no Bentleys. You see this chain on my neck? This was given to me by my man right here. Look, Russ Dickless. It was given to me. I don't do these things, man. That's a fact. Shout out to Russ Dickless Records. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's a fact. I'm not... Because then, you got to understand, too. Not only are you... When you go out and you buy these things, right? Not only when you go buy these things. Let's keep it real. Not only are you wasting your money, you are getting the next person that owns a business even richer. Yeah. They are on the beach. You know what I'm saying? You buy a Phantom, the nigga that owns a Phantom... He drives a Honda Accord. I'm not saying that's true. I'm just saying that's how it be. Yeah. You go to the barber to get a haircut. That nigga need a shape up and a cut. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's how it be. But you go in there spending $50 a cut. Meanwhile, he's giving his shit to the the big razor blade at home for free. Yeah. Gotta get them sponsors, bruh. You got to. Nah, but you know, they look at you like it's walking marketing because still it's not sponsorship. That's why I respect Russ. You know, Russ is a friend of mine. He sponsors the show. And, you know, he spends money on the platform. So that's what I mean. I can't. You know, just by you sending me clothes, that don't get me hyped. I just put the shit on and give you a shout out. Yeah. That's basically it. I'm looking for the bag, fam. Shit, baby. You know what I mean? You, you know, let's keep it real. I put, uh, you know, you, you give me the clothes, it's not like I don't know how to wear it. Yeah. So, of course, I'm going to make it look good and we're going to rock out. But the real facts is when these packages come in, these, this supposed to be an envelope in there too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's a fact. yeah, cause at the end of the day, I'm still giving you the walking and marketing. I ain't no fool, man. Yeah, you know what I mean. So shout out to Sean to Passion and shout out to uh, Mitchell and Ness for sending in the gear for today. Sure, baby. But yeah, man, Dame Dash definitely was on his. On his early, you know what I mean, this morning, and talking, to, talking that smoke. Now, I also like what he was talking about this P Diddy shit. Let's talk. Let's listen to this. This initiative about ten years ago that Comcast. Now we can't listen to that. They got music on it. I'm not gonna let them hate on on everything that we got going on. So we're gonna take that one off. Yeah. So when I listen to Dame Dash, right? I listen to Dame Dash. And I listen to the type of things that he's talking about. And everything that he talks is, you know, is real deals, man. Like, I heard him even say that for the summer, he makes his little 10-year-olds go outside of the Trump plazas or wherever they live in these expensive high-rise buildings and make these guys sell lemonade. He said, I just want you to get in the, in 
the frame of mind of owning your own business no matter what it is. And I agree. I agree. You know, as kids, we were all taught, you know, go to school, go to college, and go work for a motherfucker. Yeah! That's the difference between us and the Mexicans and all of them. Shout out to the Mexicans. The Mexicans, they don't have no shame in cutting your grass. Like I told you, I talk about Carlos. Carlos comes here and cut the grass every week. We haven't seen Carlos in six and four weeks because I, um, you know, Carlos, he comes now uh, at 11 o'clock and I'll be getting off now. But what I'm saying is Carlos, you like, yeah, <laughs> Carlos cuts grass. People laughing, right? Yeah. Carlos, let me tell you about Carlos. Carlos and his kids and his family, all of them work together. Carlos, and I'm going to keep it real with you, because I speak to Carlos. Carlos showed me his crib. Carlos got a mansion, and Carlos got five trucks yeah. out there with about 10 Mexicans running around cutting grass for his own business. Carlos is eating. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. But you know what's the crazy about it? Carlos came from Mexico. Yeah. How we letting a guy come from Mexico and think bigger than us? How we letting somebody come from another country and think bigger than us? You know what I mean? I know we and I, I know everybody's at work right now. I know y'all probably want to get up and walk out. I understand. Yeah. It's not that easy. But the real facts is it's not your fault. We've been programmed this way. I was talking to some uh, a real...